guys welcome back to my channel so we will be doing a more in-depth review and look at the mirage so while we were in vegas last week the mirage is actually the hotel that we ended up staying for the whole week we were there and what i really love is that the mirage is by the venetian by the bellagio by treasure island by paris so that's kind of like the main cluster of hotels slash resorts that are all next to each other and where a lot of the free shows are like the fountain show the volcano show um the venetian has those shows inside by the canals the mirage and those hotels are definitely the spot you want to be at some of the other hotels like the stratosphere excalibur the luxor are kind of further away so the mirage was perfect for us so as you can tell, we are walking through the front entrance right now of the Mirage. So the Mirage was absolutely beautiful. Um, as we're walking in, you see the main center part. Uh, so when you look at the hotel online or whatever the case is, there's this kind of half dome on top of the property that you're like, what is that? So this is what it is. Inside, it's actually like a living... I don't know if I want to call it a rainforest because it's not really a rainforest or like a mini little rainforest with this waterfall. So the Mirage is known of a huge waterfall also in front of the hotel where they have a volcano show every night. So they kind of have like a little mini um, waterfall inside as you walk in as kind of like the main focal point, which I really like. So this is the casino area. Again, you know, I've shown already a few resorts. You've seen some of the casinos, not really much to see here. So I just kind of Fast forward it a little just so you can kind of get an idea of the casino. But again, I'm not a gambler, so it wasn't a big deal to me. So, yeah. Um, so here we go. So I'm actually going to go back through the center part that you saw in the beginning. Just because I wasn't able to get the concierge check-in area. Their check-in area is absolutely beautiful. It's this big tank. I don't know if you guys watch this show, but there's this show called Tanked where these guys make these huge fish tanks and customize them and all this stuff. I don't know if those are the same guys that made the tank at the Mirage that's behind the check-in, but the tank that they have at the Mirage is so gorgeous. It's full of gorgeous fish, some tropical fish. I remember even one day when we were passing by, um, there was a scuba diver in there that was cleaning the tank, which was super cool. Um, so yeah, this tank is absolutely gorgeous. It's massive. It's again, another big focal point of the Mirage and what a lot of people like and like to come look at when they go see and stay at the Mirage. So again, we're passing by the waterfall area in the front, uh, just cause you have to get through that area to you know either get out of the building or go to the concierge section. And it's funny cause there's actually a Vegas vacation uh, movie that you guys all should check out because that also includes the Mirage. It was made in like the 80s or 90s um, I'll link it up here somewhere or just you know put a little title of it what it's called um, It's like the Mirage uh, 30 or 20 years like back then So it's really cool to see what it looked like back then as to compare to what it looks like now So here we go So now we're walking up to the front check-in area and this is the tank I was talking about guys look at this this tank is amazing it is massive and the fish in there they have small fish medium fish big fish absolutely gorgeous tank and i think every other day someone's in there cleaning it so like i said before we did stay at the mirage so here is a little kind of room tour of the room we had we were up on the 11th floor room 1115 just in case if you guys are curious or get that room um, so I had a double, uh, I went with my family, so I had a bed, they had a bed, absolutely gorgeous room, it was, you know, great condition, there were no stains anywhere, there's a little, like, seating desk area, and then the view, the view was gorgeous, so there's that dome that I was talking about, that's in front of the hotel, and our view, oh, absolutely breathtaking, waking up to that view every day was worth every penny. So here we go. So this is back right when you leave those doors that we came in through to the Mirage. When you exit those doors and you go straight, you go straight to their fountain area. Now this is the fountain area that I had mentioned before. This is where you're gonna see the volcano show. Um, I think a little bit later on or in the next clip, I have a clip of the volcano show at night. So they have two shows. There's one at eight o'clock, there's one at nine o'clock. It's approximately 10 minutes long, I believe really great show really unique something to see i mean just walking this in the morning 
you feel like you're in another world. You don't feel like you're in Vegas. Vegas is in Nevada, and Nevada is basically, it's a desert. It's a big desert area. But when you walk through these casinos, when you walk through the Mirage and all these fountains and everything, it doesn't make you feel like you're in a desert area, which is really, really cool. Like just what I'm walking through here now, you wouldn't feel like you're walking through the desert. It's so nice. The fountains are gorgeous. The waterfalls are beautiful, peaceful, and relaxing. And I really enjoy them. And here we go. There's actually a nice view of the Venetian, uh, which I have a video up of that already on my channel. If you're interested to see, I did a more in-depth walkthrough of the Venetian as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and you can see in the front, they have these dolphins. So the Mirage actually has a dolphin and secret garden exhibit, which also will be later on in this video. We went and saw the dolphins. They look absolutely healthy, gorgeous. They really take good care of them. The secret garden that includes Siegfried and Roy's famous tigers. They used to do a famous show here at the Mirage, which they don't do anymore, unfortunately. Um, and they actually kept the tigers and animals that they used or either they brought in new ones. I'm not too sure because I'm not sure when that show ended. Um, but that will also be towards the end with the dolphins. I do. We did do that. We did check out the dolphins and the lions and tigers. So that was really cool. So here we go, more of like a front view of the Mirage and what you see. So as promised, here is the volcano show and I'll stop talking and let you guys enjoy the volcano show.
great volcano show. I really enjoyed that. And standing by there, the fire was so strong that you literally felt, I don't know, like you were <laughs> in almost a volcano. It was so nice and hot. Um, so here we go. Here is the dolphin exhibit, the dolphin exhibit and secret garden that they have at the Mirage. Um, so there is a show. They get, when you get the tickets, there's a 3 p.m. show. And we came at 3 p.m. And here's the thing. There's not really much of a show. It's more of them feeding the dolphins. They do some tricks for you. People can get some photo ops. They play with a ball or two. Um, it's not anything excessive like SeaWorld where they put on a whole big act or anything. But it's really unique. Again, you know, um, I have seen dolphins before. You know, I've been to the Caribbean. So we have gone to places like, you know, SeaWorld, well, kind of like SeaWorld. So I, I've never been to SeaWorld, but there are places in the Caribbean where you can swim with dolphins and things like that. Um, so I have seen dolphins before up close, but seeing them again, because it's been so many years. Oh my God, was absolutely adorable. Look at this guy. Oh, this guy was like, it felt like he was staring right at us. So cute. These guys were so adorable. Like I said, like you can tell, they really do take good care of them. Um, you know, they are so friendly, so cute, and I just, I can't say enough. They're absolutely adorable, so I'll let you guys watch some of that. After their quote-unquote show or you know them feeding them we went underground so you can also see the dolphins underground so as you're going underground they have a few like fact sheets about them um, you know the organs in their bodies um, how long they're pregnant for things like that can you believe that dolphins are actually pregnant for a whole year they're pregnant for 12 months I thought you know us females humans being pregnant for nine months was ridiculous but can you imagine 12 months Oh my goodness, God bless them, because I'm, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, so here are the dolphins, kind of underwater, you can see them. So they have this um, big glass enclosing, and you can see them and get a better look with them. Um, you know, for example, if you didn't take a picture with them up front, or if you weren't able to pet them or touch them, this is just like a better, closer view for you guys to see, which I thought was really cute. They really come towards the glass. They're not really scared of people, which is great also. Because going to places where animals are scared is not always fun to see. Uh, so here we go. So now we're entering the secret garden part. So it's the dolphin slash secret garden that the Mirage has. So this is a secret garden by Siegfried and Roy. Um, so it was actually really interesting because when we were walking this, someone had said that I think they were saying that Siegfried was just at the park. 
like literally seconds ago like we missed him by seconds um he comes they said that he he usually comes on occasion to not on occasion but quite often to check on you know the lions the tigers to make sure they're okay to make sure that they're healthy um we honestly didn't luck out unfortunately they mostly slept throughout the time that we were there <laughs> no so they weren't very active they weren't running around they weren't playing they were just kind of there laying down i think someone also said that it was feeding time for them so they had eaten right before so i mean you know you eat you kind of want to pass out it wasn't even that hot actually so we went the last week in march and it really was not that hot in vegas it was really good the weather was like high 70s low 80s it was really nice um it wasn't too hot being out there so yeah so it's not like they're dying in there it's just they just ate we're tired and didn't really want to deal with the humans which i totally understand it's fine i get it All right, so this guy actually, after I stopped recording, did end up getting up. So I'll put a, a picture of him um, kind of waking up and looking at us. So yeah, so after we got done with that, you're led back into the dolphin area. And there was just a bit more of another show or training that they had with them. So we just stayed a little bit more for that and watched that. Um, so yeah, it was really fun. If you guys do stay at the Mirage or if you do want to see some excursions or something different, definitely check out the Dolphin and uh, Secret Garden exhibit. Totally worth the money. I think it was only 20 bucks a person. So absolutely affordable. Do it. You get to see the Dolphins up close. It's really cool. Um, I think you pay extra to take pictures with them or whatever the case is. But again, that's totally fine. I didn't need pictures with them or anything. So the $20 to just go through the secret garden and watch the dolphins, totally worth it. So yeah, if you guys have the chance, do it worth every penny. Absolutely love the Mirage. Would we'll stay there again 10 times over. I, by far, hands down, the best resort that I've been at kind of in a long time, to be honest with you. It was so nice. The pool area was gorgeous. It was very clean and I can't talk it up enough. We really enjoyed our stay at the Mirage and I really can't wait to go back because I would stay there again. So if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, please let me know down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, if you've stayed at the Mirage, let me know. Like where have you stayed in Vegas? What was your favorite hotel or favorite part of it? I would definitely be interested to hear. Thank <laughs> you.